Lockdown 4.0 The air is a bit more fresher. The sky a bit more clearer. The roads a bit less crowded. The homes a bit more fuller. The families a bit more closer. The plants are a bit more greener. The pace of life is a bit more slower. The birds a bit less fearful. Yes, the birds a little less fearful. Wild bulbul built a nest almost in our living room. He must have felt that now it is much safer to build a nest near almost a feet away from a human being. He must have felt that if they lay eggs, the humans will not break it. He must have felt that when the eggs hatch and become chicks, the humans will probably not hurt it. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Yes, indeed it's beautiful. It's time for us to reboot, to reconnect with nature, to reconnect with everything around us, to be a little more compassionate, to be, to love and to be loved, feel the warmth, to observe, to experience, to do something new for others. Lockdown 4.0 what do you think? Lockdown 4.0 It's our new teacher and uh, many 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 more lessons to learn. Whenever you feel a little lonely or just too many things on your mind Just a clear little space for your dreams my friend and leave your troubles behind Oh, 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 slip and sliding away I go, oh, oh, slip and sliding away You go, oh, oh, slip and sliding away We go into a dream Now they say dreams are just for fools I betcha who's made up those rules So never mind what they say You just slip and slide away and it's okay. La 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 Oh 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 slip and sliding away we go oh oh slip and sliding away we go oh oh slip and sliding away we go into a dream Unlock 2.0 What do you think? I think to unlock this time we would require a bunch of keys. And what do you think are those keys? I think we need key of discipline and uh, the key of supporting each other, the key of kindness, key of peace, the key of patience. Mm, yes, the key of patience. As we grow old and become more successful, we start losing patience to anger and ego. Where is this humble, beautiful little bird 
again teaches us a lot. The older it grows and the more experienced it becomes, the more patience it shows. We can learn a lot from this beautiful creation of God. What all do you think it teaches us? I think if we observe, then it teaches us a lot of things. But if I, what I have observed, it teaches us hard work and never to lose hope. We see that they toil so hard every single day to get that little food for their chicks. It's really, really inspiring to see how hard they work every single day. Right. What else do you think this creature teaches us? Apart from that, I also have observed that the partner, they support each other so much and they love unconditionally each other. And it's so surprising that like humans, they are not bound by any legal agreement, but they still live, uh, live for each other. There's no societal pressure for them to stay together as a couple, but they are still together and they love each other unconditionally. That's really, really so, so beautiful that we human can learn from them. Yes, unconditional love. What else do you think this creature teaches us? I think all these qualities just translates into one thing that they are so, so inspiring and encouraging. The way they, they encourage and inspire their chicks to come out for the, out of the nest for the very first time and how beautifully they give their chicks the confidence to take that first plunge in the air. I mean, nature, if you just look around, nature has answers and solutions to all our problems. We, we just need to observe and learn. These little things of nature have such, such deep-rooted meaning. Right. So to unlock this time, let's start using all these keys and unlock ourselves in the true sense. Thank <laughs> you.